Hey people, Intrude here, 3v3, Argus Desert Gate Blue Team. With a whole bunch of chaos, we have Bebop with a Chaos Lord, durable and destructive hero, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful offense and disruption fights in melee combat, Black Legion over here. Alongside Steger 7 with a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero, powerful battlefield manipulation and control. And rounding off the team, Handsome Sodding. As a plague champion, it starts off in range to combat with a damage over time bolt gun. Can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support can build turrets and repair, but it's pretty slow. Is this more Black Legion? It is. It's the elite scheme. Red team. This is a good view. It's dead metal as a warlock, a melee spellcaster that can leap into combat with some powerful disruption and support, getting his fleet of foot on. Alongside Lauer. With a war boss, a melee hero that can walk through objects, very good offense, disruption, and support from the front line. And he's got a mean mug on him. Look at this. Not happy. Rounding off the teams is Sub Zero Wawa with a Farseer support hero that fights in melee combat with some powerful buffs and control abilities on the west side there against a Chaos Lord. Nobody wants to cap the east. Handsome. Oh, not getting some more heretics up. We do have some Zinchin worship in the mid. Nobody fighting yet. What's going on? Here we go. Picking off on the west side. Farsi has already taken a bunch of damage. Getting stuck into the Chaos Lord. Not tying up the CSM there. Doom Blast on the Dire Avengers. Banshees though coming in. And they are a big threat to everything in first engagement. Chaos Lord does have Kill the Weak, of course, to help deal with them. Those Dire Avengers are out of there. But these ones are surviving. Has Guide been used? Maybe Guide was on those guys that ran away. Oh, big old kill the weak on the Banshees. They do get away. If you throw double heretics into Banshees and Doom Blast them both, it can be a real rough time for those ladies. Not the greatest engagement early then for Sub Zero. But everything survived. Everything survived. The Warlock, though, has pushed through the east side. In the mid, Warboss having some fun. Gets a special attack on the CSM Sluggers with Burners. Do escape the Sorcerer's Gaze. Misses that special attack though. Gets straight back in there. Smack. Like 42 DPS I think is melee weapon by default. Here's some support now from the eastern side. Lots of Eldar Pew Pew on the Sorcerer. He tried to throw out his Doom Bolts. But got knocked over. That was actually the big stomp. Cyborg Implants. From the war boss. Who doesn't want a robotic war boss? Here's the Farseer back to defend the power. I'm not sure if it was noded and bashed or just not noded. Well, uh, they haven't taken this wreck point. Looks like the heretic's going to try and do so. CSM behind some heavy cover there. Chaos Lord is waiting. And Sub Zero. No. There's the Shuriken. I was going to say no Shuriken. We do have one out from Dead Metal on the eastern side. I wonder if they were debating some rangers or something and that's why we didn't see the shuriken earlier warlock taking some shots on some nurgle worship some zinchun worship too i think the blue team can push through 2v1 here where is the oh they are supporting the western side it is lower with the big old flank and this is what you need to do you see your ally pinned back like this try and get a nasty flank the mid player can be so important in 3v3 465 to 489 on the vps there's that big stomp with the stun. Heretics are going to get shredded here, maybe. I don't think the sluggers were targeting them immediately. May have let them get past a little bit there. Maybe could have finished them. There's only two models. But they do get away. Good flank from Lauer. Now he needs to very quickly, if they can, get over to the eastern side. Shuriken's in the garrison trying to hold it up. Havoc's up here for Steger. Bebop with Raptors. Handsome with some Havoc's. Went for double CSM. Eternal War is up on both. Easily shut down by suppression, of course. And there's the Plague Champion. He's got no war gear, though. Farseer getting some capping done. Doesn't go straight after the power. Wants to cap the points first. Doom Bolts on the Shooter Boys there, I think we saw the end of. Oh, not chasing the Sorcerer back. Wants to help the east side, does Lauer. And blue team get the wreck point back finally. Power bash. And maybe a cap just edging forward on the west side. Here's the sorcerer again for another round. That's a good doom bolts. But uh, yeah. 
outgunned, outnumbered. Got some grenade launcher heretics for handsome sodding. Not sure what their plan is for these howling banshees. There's no fetid armor, there's no sword, there's no aspiring champion heretics. They get right in on the havocs there, the banshees. Just nothing to stop them. I guess the havocs are the plan, but they were caught setting up there. I think he needs something to supplement them. Oh, Havoc's taken out. Havoc's were shredded. And Plague Champion went down too. Bad engagement for Handsome. Yeah, I don't think Havoc's enough because Banshees are just so maneuverable. They can get in, they can get around, they can flank. They can catch you setting up. Need something else. Howling Banshees might go down here on the western side. Looks like they'll be okay. Heretic pistols can't do much. Raptors allowing Bebop to push and get a full bash, I assume, there. Noise Marines up now for Stiga. Looks like Stiga lost their opening heretic squad. Got some cacophony going on. Doom bolts out of the Zinchian worship. It was always fun. Everything gets away, and as Banshees did some real work, there's a destructor going out. Shuriken is still here to hold things up. And there aren't any raptors on this side. I'm not sure if they can hold off all of this stuff. Should have tried to split their forces a little bit more here. Plague Champion going to run up to the heavy cover and start shooting. Noise Marines getting in. They do get it done. They get the Shuriken out of there. And they're going to cap it up. Maybe even Bash. Blue team are counter-attacking quite well after they get pushed back. Tier 2 for Sub-Zero, Tier 2 for Dead Metal, 431 to 489. Farseer now has her hat on, it's the Ghost Helm. Can mess with the enemy heretics, also the Raptors, he can't suppress the Chaos Lord though. We'll do some damage to him still. Very quick bash with the Sonic Blaster Noise Marines. Doesn't last long, Destructor on those heretics, that was a big shot. Couldn't quite get a bunch of kills though. I think he killed one of them. Here come the Orcs getting suppressed. Nothing much they can do about it. Maybe a little burst of aiming what's that. Oh, they don't have big shooters. They can't suppress them back. Yeah, that was nasty. Banshees though streaming through. Doom Blast halts them. And that's triple CSM with a ton of war shooting at your Banshees. That's gonna be quite painful. Heretics to escape. 431 to 464. Is that the bang bang hammer? It is. A fun weapon. The big old hammer. Lau are not happy with his attempt to flank there. Gonna be tier 2 all around. Blue team slower to go in general. Uh oh. Banshees wipe on the west side. A rough end to tier 2 for the red team here. And these guys don't have grenades. There's a touch of Nurgle. Oh, might actually get a detonation there. There we go. Those guys should have been out of there way sooner. Nice, oh, it's painful. Really, really rough end to the tier for Sub Zero. They're down to a single Shuriken cannon now. Blue team seem to be cruising. Seem to be cruising. Powering through with just a bunch of CSM and heretics mainly. Although, Stiga mixing it up. Raptors did get level 2, also dropped a model. Sub-Zero now with a Wraith Lord on the way. Power Bash again on the west side. Wraith Guard now. And they could do massive amounts of work here. Massive amounts of work. Need some support, of course. Warboss goes charging in through his own Wraith Guard. Well, his allied Wraith Guard. That was an awesome charge, but all the way through. And now a big stomp. And nothing moved. Nothing moved out of the way. Havocs are not firing because they are infiltrated. Stiga needs to get them firing here. Oh, didn't get them firing. Big mistake. And red team pour through. Wraithguard needs to be careful of friendly fire because there's going to be Banshees and Sluggers trying to get into melee. Sluggers now have their knob leader. Become very dangerous in tier 2. That guy is mean. There's a power weapon and a good chunk of hit points too. Here's that Wraithlord. Ebot has to respond. Maybe some last cannon action because there's not a whole lot Sub Zero could do about a last cannon right now. 
Raptors do have their aspiring champion heavy melee, but he doesn't want to fight a Wraith Lord. Understandable. Quick bash here from the Wraith Guard. Gives them some XP. Banshees in tier 2 with their Exarch leader and the aspect of strength. Orcs capping up the mid. Red team hitting back very well considering how they left tier 1 in a bit of a state. Here's some blood letters now for Stiga. Looks like Stiga lost all of their heretics there. Blood Crusher on the way for Handsome. I don't think Handsome ever replaced their Havocs or anything. Wraith Guard will shoot up a Blood Crusher pretty well, of course, if they can hit it. Uh oh, Warboss in trouble. Blood Letters doing tons of damage and they take him down. Swamp him for the Sluggers. Some Stig Bombs thrown in. Big old brawl in the mid. Doom Bolts doing massive amounts of damage to the Shooter Boys. Wraith Lord is here to help. Use your choppers on the sluggers. Gives them big melee damage and melee skill bonuses from the war boss's global bar. Are you going to attack something, Mr. Wraith Lord? No, he's just leaving. 4-3-1 to 3-3-4. Should have taken some swings on those CSM. Just worried about what's going to come mid, eh? You get anti-vehicle on your stuff so quick in Dawn of War 2. Speaking of anti-vehicle, Banshee's trying to fight the Blood Crusher with their heavy melee spear. Tying up the Wraith Guard. Needs some support though. Those guys are a bit slow to move up. Uh oh. That's a Bright Lance. He's trying to block line of sight and does so. Uses the Terror thing to momentarily back off the Banshees. And does get the Blood Crusher out of there. Now it's under Worship. To heal up. And Nurgle Worship heals more than the others a little bit. Almost blasted by the Raptors there. Farseers down. Wraith Lord though, nice and healthy. We do have Plague Marines. In fact, double Plague Marines from Bebop. That's basically their, probably their entire tier 2 right there. Double Plague Marines. Hey, I approve. We have the Rod of Warp Fire for the Sorcerer. Also, Robes of Torment. Wraith Guard getting caught by the flank. Blue team should be able to clear up this east side. They did bash a bit. Here comes that Wraith Lord though. Sluggers getting in. Might see a touch of Nurgle perhaps. There's the Chains of Torment from the Robes of Torment. Yeah, that really messed up the Orcs. Sluggers do escape. That was Bebop stuff. You can put Touch of Nurgle on your allies units, I believe. It might, maybe it's only allied chaos units. And I'm pretty sure you can. But I could be wrong. Someone will let me know. Tank busters are the back of base. No big old tank buster disruption. We do have a last cannon though, trying to hunt down the Wraith Lord, I guess. Plague Marines being smacked up. Where are the other Plague Marines? They are slowly making their way forward. Have they overextended a bit here, the blue team? Trying to chase the Wraith Lord. Maybe they have. Last Cannon's trying to set up. Banshees are there, though. They're going to get on it in good time. Wraith Guard now taking shots. Need to be careful that friendly fire. Oh, is that Warp Throw? That is Warp Throw from the Warlock. 4 to 1 to 279. Big old swing from the Wraith Lord. Wraith Guard getting some good shots in. They chop up some CSM there. Yeah, overextended a bit, the blue team. Steger especially. Look at this, down to Havocs and Bloodletters. I know the feeling, buddy. I know the feeling. Plague Champion. Icon of Nurgle. Recently buffed, of course, to be only 20 power now. Fetid Armor and the Plague Sword. There's a Shrine going up from Handsome also. Sorcerer level 4. Doesn't seem to be worshipping it. Just doing some regular worship. So it's going to get the heal from the worship and the heal from the shrine. But if you worship the shrine, you do get reinforcement. And you can worship your allied, your allies' shrines with your own heretics. That is a thing you can do. The shrine did not last long. I was going to say, maybe you should have put it a bit further back because there are wraith guards on the field. They made short work of it. Tier 3 for dead metal. Tier 3 for lower. Raptors jumping in. 
Sluggers are there, but they're taking big chunks of damage now. Having to escape. Chaos Lord got stunned by something. Was that the big stomp there, maybe? Or stun bombs? One of them. Warboss charging through. And dies. An orky maneuver. Big champion getting stuck in. There's a Noxious Cloud too. Getting some kills with it. Can be tough to get kills with this thing. So slow nowadays. But did some good work there. 4-2-1 to 2-3-6. Towards the west side comes Bebop. Because Eldar are bashing things. This Wraith Lord is still around. And here comes some Wraith God for Sub-Zero. Tier 3 for Stiga and Handsome. Did Handsome get anything out? Oh, they got the Blood Crusher out. I think that was it. I think it was Blood Crusher into Tier 3. A bunch of war gear, of course, came out. Wraith Lord trying to push on through to tie up the Plague Marines. Can't tie them both up. And Shuriken's out of there. Not sure if the Wraith Lord's going to get away from this. Oh, there's a Las Cannon too. Yeah, it's so risky to uh, push your walkers up to bash power with. I mean, Death Dreads often do it because they can do it very quickly. They also have that little speed bonus ability, I believe. But down goes the Wraith Lord. No way it was getting out. Double Plague Marines and a Las Cannon on it. Red Team, though, going to take control of the eastern side. Sub-Zero pulled the entire blue team over there to fight fight the Wraith Lord, I think. Oh, Hansom just came to the mid. Some Nova Worship hanging out. Power Bash on the eastern side. Still no big shooters for the Shooter Boys. How upsetting for them. We do have a looted tank, though. Warboss is still down in the mid. Should get revived from there, though, eventually, I think. Tank Bus is making this a very quick bash. Might get flanked, though. We do have some Chaos Terminators now for Stiga. And Bebop is going tier 3. Sub-Zero stays in tier 2 with Wraithguard now. Plague Marines and the Plague Champion operate very well under suppression. You still slow them down a bit, but not as much as other units. And they still fire at the same rate too. Still, they wanted to avoid the Wraithguard for the sheer damage they do. There's Dark Flames from the Sorcerer. CSM. Positioned in not the greatest place. They might get hit by the sluggers on retreat here. Yeah, that's strange positioning by Hansen. Are the sluggers gonna get on? They are. Are they gonna get a model though? They need the they need the slugger knob to attack with its power weapon. I don't think it did. They got away relatively fine. Relatively fine. Stick bombers took a lot of damage, but didn't take a model off them. Wraith God they're gonna bash. Meanwhile. How fast he is down. Those stinky bolters did it. 400 to 176. Missile hit on that Dire Avenger fella. Poor bastard. Heretics are going to get in here. Yeah, I need to retreat. There's going to be another bash, I believe. Might need some support there, Sub-Zero. Goes tier 3. Handsome with a tank on the way. Maybe Marco Zinch to help hunt down this looted. Another looted by Lauer, and the war boss is back to his feet. Level 5, he's done well. Is that a... It is a Seer Council. I saw the aura before I saw the Seer Council. Power Bash. There's that big boom shot. There it goes. These days you need to get the reinforced plate in before it lets you use it. Pretty cool though. A, a battle tank that can disrupt... 369 to 176. Might need to back away, Bebop. You want to fight here? Oh, they want to fight here. Raptor doesn't quite get the suppression on the jump. But does scare off the shooter boys. Sluggers are there, but I don't think they want to engage all this. Okay, there's a retreat from Bebop. Raptors jumping out. Level 3 Raptors have done well. Done well. Here's the tank from Handsome. Needs to be careful of the Wraith Cannons. They will mess anything up. And look at this Bright Lance getting shots. What are they doing? They're trying to get it behind the Bright Lance. There we go. It works out. Wraith Guard tied up. Is Dead Metal not paying attention here? Are they paying attention? Oh, they're paying attention to the mid, I think. Wraith Guard are going to fall. 
Right last is gonna fall. It's a rough fight for dead metal. Your attention, yeah. Attention taken away by another fight for just like 10 seconds there. And a bunch of stuff dies. I know the feeling. Okay, Space Marines level 3. With Mark of Corn trying to chase down a looted tank. There's another squad there as well. The uh, aspiring champion for those guys have a anti-vehicle sidearm, a melter pistol. Slugger's white. Bad minute or so for the red team, but they're still in there with double looted tanks. Some more sluggers on the way for Lauer. Dead metal can also, in fact, all three of the red team have the red for a nuke drop. And they might need it. They might need it. 308 to 176 on the VPs. The tanks need to try and do some work here. And there's a the rocks. Boom into the rocks. Nicely done by Lauer. And it's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. A lot of damage to the Plague Marines. I don't think I actually got a model off them though. That was unlucky. Messed up the Raptors and the Heretics though. There's those Chaos Terminators. Very low on health. We do see some of that demoralizing effects though when they kill stuff. That red marker there lowers the damage output and increases damage taken I believe by a few percent and of course it stacks up as you get kills. And they can kill stuff pretty fast with their combi bolters. Here comes a war boss. Might see a revive. Should level him to seven. There we go. Friendly war boss. Maybe get a decap too. There it is. Plague Champion revived by the Chaos Sorcerer with Tome of Subjugation. Are they expecting a knob squad? They can just subjugate the Seer Council as well. That's a pretty good squad to get out of there. Consumes an allied heretic there, the Sorcerer. Oh, maybe goes down, gets knocked over. When you've got Seer Council and leveled up Banshees late game, the Warlock leap into combat can really set up some kills. Speaking of setting up kills, Seer Council subjugated there, almost killed their own Warlock. Banshees get away. Touch of Nurgle on the Chaos Space Marines, there it is. Can't Doom Blast them of course, but they're still going to die to this melee and detonate. And because they have more health than Heretics, they're going to do more damage on that detonation. I hear an Eldritch, here it is. Oh, Farsi is down again, she must have tried to get the cap there. Warboss charging around, having some fun. Level 7. Big swing, tying up the Plague Marines. The tanks have done really well. Tanks can do some great work in the mid of the gate maps. Gets very open as everything just gets destroyed there. Last cannon, not quite close enough to shoot the tanks. 262 to 157. That was gonna be a big stomp, I think, but the war boss retreated. Maybe they got the stomp before they did. This is the Predator of Handsome. No mark yet. Edging forward the blue team here. This is good play. Lightning Claw Terminators now. To fight the Seer Councils maybe. There is two of them now. One up from Sub-Zero. Another tank on the way for Handsome. Are they going to be able to push the east side though? Oh. Lake Marine's taken out. And here's the Land Raider Phobos from Bebop. Stiga now down to Terminators and Double Havocs. Not sure these guys are going to be able to approach. They might need to wait for Seer Council to commit themselves. I hear a Banshee yell. Where was that? Oh, it's here. Going full on melee here, Hanson. With his infantry. Oh, gets a zombie Banshee from the sword. Fire Prism trying to back away. Dead Metal responding well to those losses and recovering with double fire prisms. More losses maybe with the Banshees. Oh, they get away. Level 4 Banshees too. Plague Sword doing some work here. Almost level 4 the Plague Champion and constant damage of course from the Icon of Noble. 10 damage every 2.5 seconds. Not a huge amount of damage but it adds up and it's passive and it's AoE. Helps you pick off kills you maybe wouldn't have got. 
and really helps level up the Plague Champion too. He's level 4 at the moment. There's that second Fire Prism on the way. Subjugate the Seer Council. Controlled by the Sorcerer now. They also get a damage bonus. And I think damage immunity. But it doesn't last too long as you can see. Phobos taking shots from tanks and Wraith Guard. Are you getting a Bright Lance? No. Just moving up. Stand off in the mid. Lots of damage on the CSM. Level 4. Doesn't want to lose him. There's a second tank from Handsome. Don't see... Oh, we see Mark of Nurgle on one of them. Dead Metal just hanging out. Red Team still have the east side. Sorcerer almost level 8. Gets the Chains of Torment on the war boss. He's not going to be happy. When is he ever happy? When he's fighting stuff. I want to loot the tanks went out. Bebop floating resources like crazy here. They've maxed out their red. Dead Metal almost maxed out the red too. And they used an Eldritch at some point. Didn't they? Oh, maybe that was Sub-Zero's Eldritch. Probably was. Wraith Guard getting as much damage as they can on the Phobos and Heretics are trying to repair. It's a lot of repairing to do, fellas. There's a double Fire Prisms, Banshees and Seer Council too. Nasty combo. Things being knocked over and then jumped in melee. The Shuriken's a bit too far forward, maybe. Killing some Heretics, though. And does get away. Tank bus is getting shots. Big boom shot. Oh, they dodged a big boom shot there. Are they trying to help repair? What are they doing? They're hanging out. 151, 157. Terminators with their weapon knockback immunity able to get this cap here. For fire prisms can't knock them over. Now we have a Marco Zinch Predator tank to hunt down the fire prisms. Need to keep them moving. There we go. Are they going after the tank? They are. This is not the tank to go after with Banshees. It's got melee resistance and a bunch of health. Eldritch. One tank goes down. I'm not sure if the Eldritch actually did it. It forces this one to move back though. Are they going to get it here? Tank busters getting the rear armor shots, but they are, I don't think, going to finish this. No, nope, down they go. They got one tank though. They got one tank. Maybe it was a tank buster barrage they got. I didn't actually see. I don't think the Eldritch Storm. I think the Eldritch Storm just hit the uh, hit an already crashing vehicle. I think. So I didn't see a health bar there. What do we got here? Battle Wagon for Lauer. Some late rangers for dead metal. Maybe for some disruption. And hollow field shenanigans. Don't have the hollow fields yet. Look at Bebop's resources. They have so many. Buy something, dude. A tank. Get yourself a tank. I think they have the pot for that. Aren't tanks 15? Or are they 21? Pretty sure they're 15. Phobos continues to get repairs. They've done a good job. Not sure exactly how they repair it. They just like worship it back to health, maybe. Quietly worship it, though. Not the obnoxious circle type. Double las cannons means that the vehicles here can't really push up. In fact, the looted tank just got destroyed. And I didn't even see it. Red team still have the east side. What is the blue team's plan here? Oh, more terminators is part of the plan. I'm into that. Bebop still not purchasing anything. What's going on, Bebop? Buy some stuff. Buy some stuff for your Chaos Lord, even. Oh, here's some Terminators. They got some things. Look at this. And they might kill Dire Avengers on retreat. No, they get away. Pushing through now. Don't think I've seen Let the Galaxy Burn happen. Chaos Lord tries to get on the cat. Four boss is a massive threat to a Fire Prism. Can't knock this guy over. There's a jump. Oh, Meltagon Raptors now. There's the Melter Bomb, but here comes a Battle Wagon to run you over. Some Seer Council too. Red Team need to respond, but they are being pushed back on the east side too. Look at this. 
A good two pronged attack by the blue team. Sorcerer is going to get a revive. Oh, maybe not. Knocked over by a fire prism. There's a subjugation again. What am I hearing? Oh, a late gravity blade from the far sea of Sub Zero. Double cap now for blue. They are looking pretty good. Look at those rosters. Pretty good. Oh, look at this. Handsome with some chosen plague rings out late game. That's fun. Get into melee with their damage over time. Weapons also have their Nurgles rocked. Which these days you need to charge up by taking damage. Oh. Eldritch. The tank lives. It lives. Favor of the Dark Gods there. There's the Nurgles rock. Creating some zombies I think. Charging through as a battle wagon, they do get the tank down. I mean, double fire prisms are here, but there's terminators and stuff. These guys have an auto cannon. Those guys took this one out with their fists. It's uh, not looking great for the red team. They're quite depleted too. And some CSM got a cap. There's a triple. Surely that's going to be it. More lightning claw terminators over here. Oh, and they're fighting Seer Council. Having to teleport out. Look at the damage they took there. In just a few seconds. Trying to get onto the VP or the Wraith Guard. But I think... Yep, GG has been called. It's a fun game. Real back and forth. All over the map. The west side was kind of abandoned midway through Tier 2. And it all went mid and east. Some cool stuff. Let's look at these heroes. Level 8, Chaos Lord. Level 9, Sorcerer. Plague Champion, level 4 and down. Level 9 Warlock did have Providence at the end, which made of Kurnus as well. Level 8 Warboss had a bunch of fun. Battle Wagon at the end, of course. And a level 2. How did you only get level 2? So much stuff died. That's amazing. A level 2 Farseer. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.